Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, this lighted crochet hook set. Um, as some of you may know, for Christmas, my husband um, bought me some things that I had been tag tagging and putting away in my Amazon wish list, and one of those things that I really wanted was a lighted crochet hook set. Um, I did, just a few videos ago, review... Um, uh, another set because he actually bought me two and um, this set here I'll put a link in the description to the video where I talked about it um, this one I reluctantly or cat or just in general recommend for someone who holds their hooks like a knife this is a rechargeable set which is a really cool thing but the way they shape their handle makes it difficult for the knife holders to um, use with speed right you know how now if you're going to do a nice slow project and you don't mind trying to hold your hand like a knife holder does um that's a great hook set because it is rechargeable you're not going to have to buy batteries this set which i really do love is for the pencil holders and on the flip side it is battery it does have batteries so i'll put a link in the description to the amazon link where my husband bought this it was $25.99 and then I'll also put a link in the description to the other set and the video where I talked about the other set. Neither of these companies have hired me or given me presents or free hook sets to talk about them. I'm just talking about them because one of the one of you lovely subscribers asked me to. Um, okay, so now I want to show you first these, these two hooks. <laughs> this hook, let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit for you. Um, this hook right here I bought two or three years ago from Hobby Lobby. It was roughly the four, three, four to five dollar range. It would not have been more than seven or eight or I would not have bought it because I'm stingy. And I have used this for a number of years. Now I don't use it regularly. I don't often crochet at night. In fact, I, and because up till now I've only had the four, 4.5 which I'm gonna take my trusty little gauge and see if that is true 4.5. It is, it's a true 4.5. Um, I use this when I'm crocheting with dark yarn and obviously up till now it only was a 4.5 and the reason I bought it is because I was crocheting with dark yarn. If you're crocheting with black, as you know, that is a hard color to see your stitches and this handy little guy lights up and then you're able to see it better. I also use this in the car at night driving to Sturgeon Bay um, because that is most of the time when I would do night crocheting. Now, um, I will tell you, it was very useful for crocheting in the dark. If you're driving somewhere and it starts to get a little bit of the evening, it does, I mean, it doesn't light up the whole car. It wasn't a distraction for my husband and I was able to see and keep crocheting. And it is very handy if you're using a dark yarn and you're having a hard time seeing your stitches, flip on this little light and away you go. Now, <clears throat> I have never changed the battery in this hook. I've had it for a couple years. I have probably used it 10 times or so and never for more than a couple hours at a time. So these batteries have been working well. Now I will tell you though, that when I carry this around in my, I used to carry it around in my actual Clover hook set in my crochet bag. The problem was the battery cap pops off and the batteries be floating around my project bag. So I have not started carrying this around. I usually keep it in my backup hook case. This hook here, which I reviewed for an Amazon and I got for free, Amazon asked me to review it. Um, this is where I put all my random backup hooks. Um, ones that aren't part of sets, one I just have one or two of, these weird wish hooks that I got, the weird set from China where the plastic's coming off, these super cute hooks I get from Am or from Hobby Lobby. And so I've been putting this in, and this is fully all the random hooks. These are not a complete set of anything. So I usually keep it in there, and then this I keep at the house. And that is if I'm working on a project at home, and I've got my trusty Clover 5 in with a project, and I want to quick make something, I come to my backup hooks. Um, okay, so the one negative thing, the only negative thing, is that sometimes these battery covers get a little loose, and these tiny little batteries, see them? Look how tiny they are start running around 
and they can be hard to find. Okay. But to be, to be honest, they have popped out quite a few times. I've always found them and put them right back in this hook. I've never had to replace batteries or anything. Now I'm going to show you how much more powerful the brand new hook is compared to the old one. Look at that. So the battery in here does need to be replaced, obviously, but I mean, even on a low battery, it's still working fine. And look at how bright that sucker is. I almost feel like it's Star Wars over here. Um, okay, so they are very bright. Now remember that other set lets you change your settings. You can have a high and a low. This is just one setting, high. <laughs> and as the battery dies, it gets low. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't really know that before I knew that this other set had a high, medium, low, did I ever care that this just had one setting? It never bothered me. It never cared. Um, so, you know, I'm good with it. it. It, to me, that is not a negative and I don't necessarily think it's a plus that the other has, um, a high, medium and low setting because I never really needed it before or knew that I needed it. Um, I feel like crocheting with this hook is very nice. I hold it kind of the flat way like this. It's very smooth. I don't have problems with my yarn splitting. Just like with the other set, I went and um, grabbed a bunch of scraps out of my scrap bag and I crocheted with it. And it did fine with my cloak, with my um, Karen remnants with my red heart remnants with premier lion brand yarns it worked just fine in all of them my hobby lobby yarn right now i'm using um a sparkly hobby lobby cotton this was once supposed to be a norwal and i frogged it um i don't have it's a very smooth shaft it's very nice shaped hook it's the shape head that i prefer and um yeah i like the hook now, the one bad thing that I have heard about some of these plastic hooks, because remember that other set is metal, is that some people claim they squeak. I crocheted with even the cheapest, you know, the Red Heart Super Saver. I did not feel or hear any squeaking. Now, I don't know if my ear tonation can't pick up, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that sound, but I didn't feel or hear any kind of squeaking with this. So um, I'm going to say, in my humble opinion, these are squeak-free. Okay. Um, like I said, they are true to sizing with my brand new trusty, thank you, subscribers, um, measurer, my Clover measurer. They are true to sizing. So when it says it's a four, if you follow the Clover sizing, it's a four. Okay? So you don't have to be worried about that. The set comes with... 2.5 millimeters a C, all with a D, E, F, a G is labeled a 4.5, H, I, J, K, K is up to 8.5. The one thing that I do think is a little weird, but of course it depends on hook sets. I personally, I feel like Clover, I guess I don't personally feel, I know, Clover has their H at a 5, their G at a four, and then they have this rando 4.5 hook that they don't have a letter assigned to them. This set assigns G the 4.5, and then the F is the four, and the E is the 3.5, and the D. So, you know, you're only from about 4.5 down, you're just gonna have to make sure that you're double checking. Just to make sure, like if you're using one set, of hooks or whatever and you're doing a 4.5 it don't go or a four don't just grab the G double check there okay because I do think if you're gonna go off the millimeter sizing you should be fine because it is true to the millimeter sizing um, it's just that for some reason these people whoever made this beautiful set where's the three five yep there it is it, it's it's true I mean it's it's right um, just for whatever reason, they put the G as a 4.5. Um, I don't really have anything super negative. Like I said, the only thing is the battery case. You could put a little scotch tape over it and be done with it if that, if that seems to be something that's going to be a problem for you. 
Um, I do love how bright these are. And I do love now that I have a full set because like I said before, I only had this one Hobby Lobby. Now, if I took this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times about five is $45. So it would cost you approximately 40 to $45 to go to Hobby Lobby and buy these one hook at a time. Um, so this would be a deal for you if you want all four nine hooks. Now, if you only want one or two, then it's not going to be a deal for you. But this, for all nine hooks, is $25.99. Um, <clears throat> there's no other markings on here. I know that I have heard some people say before that they're concerned about where they're made. And I don't see anywhere on here labeling where these are made. And I don't see any labeling on the case. Which shouldn't they? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I guess not. I don't see any labeling or stickies that say where or printing. Um, let's be honest, I'm going to guess China, right? Even clovers and um, tulips aren't made in the USA. So, um, yeah, that is my review. You guys, I recommend this set for knife and pencil holders. Both of us, both us type those types of crocheters are going to be able to use this and um, not have any problem. It also very kindly has written on the hook in a decent size print here what type of battery you'll need. So you um, you won't you won't forget. And if you're like me, you can just pop this in your purse, head over to Walmart, Target, wherever you buy your batteries, batteries plus, right? And you'll be able to get the battery because it's labeled on here. You're not going to have to carry those little tiny batteries around and guess. Um, that is all I have to say. This company on it says Yarn Story. And it actually has Yarn Story printed on the hook. This one that I got from Hobby Lobby calls itself the Crochet Light. L-I-T-E. Um, they look identical to me. I honestly cannot tell... A physical difference between the crochet light and the um, the yarn story hooks they are absolutely identical same colors um, and it even has the same printing on the back for open and close and hook in the battery thing so I think it's one of those things that they must just make them for a bunch of people and they slap their name on there um, I hope you feel like this is a very thorough review. I recommend these hooks. I like these hooks. And if you need a hook set and you um, you are for sure not a knife holder, this is the set for you. This is the only other set I have. I have these two sets of lighted hooks. Um, I know there is a third. I saw somebody in one of the, in the previous video where I talked about that other set. They linked a set that they got off of Amazon that was different than these two. I don't have that, I can't review it, and to be honest, I think it would be selfishness if I went and bought a third set, <laughs> right? Because, I mean, I've, I'm, I've got what I need. I obviously have a lot of hooks here. Um, so that is all I have. This was a 13 minute video talking about the Yarn Story Crochet Hook Lighted Set. Um, Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.